our previous video I mentioned I will be talking about different softwares and how they work and how to get the best out of this. Today we'll be talking about vMix and how you can get the best out of vMix. Follow me. When the first thing you do is to go to vMix site um, to do a trial test and the trial test will give you 60 days. Go to your browser, type vMix and you click on trial. Then you download, register with your email. A trial code will be sent to you, which you will use for 60 days. Now, if you look at it now, you will discover that in vMix, if um, if you look at OBX at a studio mode, you discover that um, they both have almost the same interface. Um, you have the preview, then the program. Um, we'll be looking at all the tax um, the button we have below from the imp add input to record to extender then to stream then to multi code coder then the live playlist then overlay now let's go now add input that on add input that is where you could add anything you want to add into vmix then that makes your vmix much more um, um colorful now before you start your streaming at all before you start your streaming there's all called plotting you must plot what you want to do what i mean by plotting i mean you must have a plan of what you want to do if you don't have if you have not designed things templates you want to use the kind of um, lower thought you want to use the overlay you want to use you might get stuck in the process of you trying to get the job done doubt you having a plot you cannot be that creative in getting the job done i hope you get that let's move further now we click on more when when you click on more you have the video then the dvd the list the camera ndr and desktop capture then the stream xrt you have the instant replay that you have image uh, image you have view delay you have an image then um, you have photo you have you have photo you have PowerPoint then color then you have audio then you have audio input then you have text then you have virtual setup or virtual sets then you have web browser then you have video call and the recent one which is um, vmix 28 you have uh, what we call the zoom in integration the zoom has been integrated into it then i think they have one other one i think tell you something i'm going to put that the other upgrade into it i'm going to show you in the video now let's go um often when you want to start your streaming the first thing i ask i tell the person on the console or on the system please make sure you bring in your sound first big people your audience can forgive you when you have a bad video but and a good sound but when you have a very good video and a bad sound your audience might not forgive you that's why i tell people or anyone that is working on any of the streaming software bring in your audio first know your source of audio then get your audio you can see your audio then you can use your exit to get a feedback to know what you're projecting or what you're sending to the people actually watching then the next thing you can bring in your camera you can bring in your camera now at the camera you look at your resolution what is the capacity of your system look at the resolution you're bringing in look at your frame rates uh, minimum if you're not running spot just go at 29 or 30 frames per seconds. Then the, your video format, just leave it at default. Your audio, you don't need an audio because audio is coming on separate. Now, I'm going to explain the reason why I said audio should always come separate. If you have any issue with your video capture card, your video will go off and your audio will still be on. And when your audio is still on, you can have something as a banner to put on the screen. To still give your audience hope that you're coming back, you can just write uh, "picture is coming back soon" or um, "thanks for watching, thanks for staying with us." You can just add something and make sure that your audience is still with you. Then the next thing is bringing an image that you want to use, like a 
a screen breaker. Let's look for one. Let's look for one. We can use. Maybe let's use this one first. Okay. Now I have the video coming in. I'm also have a screen breaker in case something happen. I can easily switch over. Then my audio is still on for my audience to have something on the screen and they know that we are not completely gone. Okay, the next thing is your NDI. Um, the reason for the NDI is for you uh, to bring in something to Vmix either through another system or you capture from your own screen. That's why you have the NDI and the local desktop capture. You use the local desktop capture to capture uh, from your system. By the time you click on your local desktop capture, it will tell you which of the display that is actually on. Anyone you click on, if you click on this display one, it will tell you if anything is on on display one. This is what is on on display one and you can actually send that to your live feed because um, you've captured that. If it is your presentation also, you can as well do the same thing. If for the people that are actually for church, if it is your easy worship, um, free show or Bible show, you can actually push them in from there. And from your NDI, from your NDI, that means you're sending um, a signal from another laptop that is on your network that is also having an NDI on that system that you can use to send. That's just, the other system you're using must also have an NDI. Your instant replay is uh, basically for those that are actually doing sports. Uh -huh. If you're not, you're not running sports, you might not really need um, your, your instant replay because it takes space and it takes space on your system. If you don't have enough space, don't bother running. Um, as I said today, we're just looking at the basic thing. Then image, we've talked about image. You bring any image into the system. Then your picture, the picture is going to come up in like a slide form. The same thing here. It's going to come in like your image subsequence. going to come in like a slide form. If you have a folder of, um, let's see if you have so many. Yes, now your image will not be going as if it's a slide or a video, but you don't have. Okay, let's go. Next to the next one, we have um, the picture. You can bring your picture like a slide. Let's see. Now the picture is loaded. Now it's going to come in like a slide. When you load in your pictures, um, they are going to be going as a slide. You can move them one by one. You can move them, but if you don't really need it, you can only do this probably if you did not set up your um, uh, PowerPoint and you're looking for something they can easily use, but you must be able to number those um, slides or you right click on it to show you all the slide you are actually working with so that you can tell the system this is what you should put next this is what you should put next uh, this is what you should put next that that make it much more easier for you um, the same thing is applicable to your slide if you have your PowerPoint slide you can right click on it to see you can as well increase the time of the transition you can change the effect Then the duration of the slide, put it at 500. Then anything you want to change your effect to, you can actually do that. Okay, let's move ahead. Let's go back to hard, then more. Then the PowerPoint, if you have any PowerPoint inside, we want to uh, send into the system. Click OK. We have the PowerPoint loading. It takes a little bit of time. Okay, yeah, that's the PowerPoint. Uh, we can send in the PowerPoint. The same thing, you can right click on it to check the PowerPoint and tell the system what you want to do per time on the PowerPoint. Okay, what you want to do on the PowerPoint per time. Um, let's go back to um, image. Let's go to audio, the color, the color bar. You can change the color bar. Now this is the color bar. Um, I don't really need the color bar. Sometimes you might need it just to have on the screen. Oh, we are still on. You know, especially when you have network breakdown 
and you quickly want to push in or your video is actually not on the screen you want to push in something you can actually use that okay um let's go to what next more your audio input yeah your audio input i actually talked about it you bring your audio input know the audio input you actually you need for um the particular job you're doing your source of audio is very important if you know that uh, you that is when your audience can actually hear what you are sending online okay we go back to more then we go to the text now on your text you have your lower third you have your scoreboard if you're actually running a spot and you have text you have time and if you have vertical or depending on what you want you have multi view if you want to create a multi view um, let's use the multi view let's just text the multi view let's see we have multi view um, let's say the title I just said convention we have Lagos we have um, UK you can actually change your text the font size the font style then the size when you click OK it's going to apply this is it if you push that in let's go then what do we use this for I can actually bring in video and place in each of us in each of those box okay you you double click when you double click you go to layer layer and multi view your layer multi view allows you to add in um, whatever you want to add into it you have had to it then just click on edit reduce to the size that will take the space then you check you measure Then come back to multi view then click on the next one then click on edit also then you have it the same thing is, uh, is the same thing is applicable to your video if you have video you do the same thing to the video if you click on ok that's as you have that on the screen then you can switch from your original picture video you by using quick play quick play if I need that okay let's go back to more let's go back to text we're still on text okay um, let's look at um, this then let's write something let's just write um, okay let's use that you can actually change the color if you want if you are not satisfied with what you have there if you can change the font style if it's too big for you you can actually double click on it or you go to setting then you reduce click on main which is the main you reduce you put it you can move it to wherever you want to move it to then the number below can be used to lay and overlay if I click on number one it appears there okay um, let's go back to more let's see what we can do more again more okay let's look at virtual background now at this virtual background you can create your own you can use the blank to bring in anything you want to then you um, change the background if you have a green screen 
if you don't have you can let's let's use one of this one okay you come to setup you come to the talent you can you can change any of this this can actually come in as an image then you can actually get in your subject then then change it you can have something that is life that is actually playing there let's look at that again um, background a screen rather we come to exports let's assume you're doing like a, a video screen web browser you can actually bring in a ULR if you have any website you actually want to show during your streaming just copy the URL and paste it there then you click OK then video call you can actually bring in a guest and become your host what, 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 what,